Part C, same direction, solve using elimination. 2x plus y equals 13, 4x plus 2y equals 23. I'll leave it up to you. Which variable do you want to eliminate? Uh, because I said so. <laughs> That's all I got. That's my lame math joke of the day. <laughs> uh, why? Because I said so? That's what I say to, that's what I say to my son. <laughs> Why? Because I said so. And, you know, you, that always irritates you when you're a kid and you always say you're not going to do it as an adult, and you do. Um, we, okay, we're going to eliminate the Ys. So um, what could I multiply the top equation through by so that when I add both equations together, the Ys cancel out? Negative 2. Does everybody see Y? Okay, what, what does that give me? Negative 4x, 2y equals 13 times negative 2, except it's negative, right? Negative 26. So now I'm adding these guys together, right? These two equations. But what happens? We get 0 on the left side equals... Negative 3 on the right? Sure, right. Yeah, 0 equals negative 3. No, wait, no. No, that's not true at all, is it? So what do you think is happening here? Do you think there's going to be infinitely many solutions, no solution, one solution? What do you think? Zero solutions. No solution. This is an inconsistent system. No solution. When you get, this is a false statement, right? 0 equals negative 3, false. That means there's no solution. The lines never intersect when you get a false statement like that, unless you make a mistake, right? So no solution. Any questions there? Okay.